On this episode of ID the Future, we are highlighting a short clip from the PBS television show Think Tank with Ben Wattenberg, in which CSC director and design theorist Dr. Stephen Meyer recently appeared. In this clip, Dr. Meyer explains how government scientist Dr. Richard Sternberg was discriminated against for publishing a scientific paper that challenged Darwinian evolution. For more news and to read the U.S. Congressional Report about the smear campaign and harassment suffered by Dr. Sternberg, visit evolutionnews.org. Steve, you wrote a very controversial paper for uh, the Smithsonian uh, Institute uh, here in Washington, a biology journal, which caused the editor to get into some hot water. Uh, what was so controversial about it, and what happened? Well, the paper was one of the first uh, peer-reviewed papers to make it into a mainstream biology journal that was explicitly arguing for intelligent design as an explanation for uh, biological phenomena. The the, I made an argument, which was about the, something called an event in the history of life called the Cambrian Explosion, where some 40 separate uh, body, body architectures, body plans, come online very suddenly in the fossil record. Many people have recognized that this is a problem for Darwinian evolution because it doesn't match Darwin's tree. But I raised another problem, which is that if you build, to build all those animals, you need a lot of lines of genetic code, just like a computer, if you want to give a computer. The, the genome. The genome, exactly. I used to ask my students you know, if you is, want is, is that actually what it looks like, or is that sort of a model of it? It's our best understanding based on the, yeah, the, the double helix. Yeah. The, what, the, the double, the double helix, helix structure. structure. Yeah. Watson and Crick. Right? Watson and Crick, 1953. Smart, you huh? got it, yeah, yeah. So I, you know, students, the under 25 said you've got all these bright kids here working for you. But you know, you ask them, what do you, if you want to give your computer a new function, what do you have to give it? And they know right away, code, new lines of code. Well, it turns out the same thing in life. If you want to build a new miniature machine, if you want to build a new type of animal altogether, th then a whole lot of new information is required to build those structures. So these events in the history of life where you have the sudden appearance of a great amount of new biological form and structure, new types of animals, require a whole lot of new information. And some of these things happen so quickly that there's not enough time for that, for even uh, random mutations to generate the amount of text, let alone get it specifically arranged so that you could build these things. And the Cambrian explosion, therefore, a great mystery to Darwinian evolution. And I went, I, so I pointed that out and went further and argued that the, this infusion of information is actually evidence of design, because what we know from our uniform and repeated experience which is the basis of all scientific reasoning about the past, is that it always takes an intelligent agent to produce new information. So the new information that arose so suddenly in the Cambrian, I argued, was, was evidence of intelligent design. Um, and then, as you say, the, the editor, uh, the, the paper was published, and a great furor ensued. The editor was denied access to his, his office, his keys, his samples. He was brought in and interrogated. Uh, he had colleagues interrogated who were asked if he was secretly wor wor working for the Bush campaign, or if he was a, a Catholic or an evangelical, and, um, and then there was the, Heaven for the, 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 the Office of Special Counsel who investigated his case found that uh, there was a concerted disinformation campaign that was there, there being waged against him. aspects in our modern culture, in the university culture in Washington, of political correctness that is maddening, I got to tell you, where, where it just will not allow exploration into into certain things. I mean, these are legitimate argue, you know, legitimate points of view. It was uh, anti-intellectual. It's anti-intellectual. I mean, this is a, this editor is a man with two PhDs in biology. He's published over 40 peer-reviewed papers himself. He was, by all measures, a very successful editor of this journal until this took place. So.